da 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 Hey, Instagram, it's me, T, from the Patterson State of Trade. I don't know if this is going to work. Because for some strange reason, the uh, <coughs> Wi-Fi in this area hasn't been working. I got it on my data now, so I don't know if we're going to go through. And it's a pretty long one. Uh, it's a Sunday. It's a Sunday. It's a free fall day when I when I do a tirade. But here we go. This is about uh, presidencies and I guess vice presidencies in the U.S. I know it's not a Tuesday. I usually I do political stuff on Tuesday, well, U.S. political stuff on Tuesdays. Uh, but uh, I'm sticking this in because it's sort of not. Well, you'll see. You'll, you'll understand. Uh, back, way back in uh, what in uh, what it was. 1960, whenever it was, 1959, whenever it was where uh, uh, Nixon had a debate with uh, Kennedy, John F. Kennedy, and it was the first time a debate was broadcast on TV. Not, not, not everybody had access to TV, but it was also, of course, the, the traditional thing was to uh, broadcast on radio, so they did radio also. So the people, was, after the debate, it turned out the people that saw it on TV thought that Kennedy won. And then the people who saw it or heard it on radio thought that Nixon won. So what's the difference? Well, first of all, back then, oh, here's the difference. The people that saw it on TV saw a handsome, a handsome young man, clean shaven, and they saw a, 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 a grumpy uh, guy with a five o'clock shadow, as far as Richard Nixon goes. People on, on, on radio just heard the voices. And, and back then, you know, uh, even the voice, they, they, because of the, the nature of radio and all the rest of that stuff, you forgave voice quality and stuff like that. Plus, you was listening for information. Plus, you was a political person. You was listening for information and not for looks, right? Okay. So let's leave that alone. Let's go to let's go to Johnson. Uh, jo Johnson didn't didn't want to run because he had a whole Vietnam War backlash. A lot of uh, uh, civil stuff was happening, so he didn't run, want to run. Well, he didn't run. And so it was it was uh, Nixon against McGovern. Now McGovern was a uh, you know for for whatever middle age whatever he was guy young young youngest guy he was he was good looking Nixon was what he was. But they found a way to smear McGovern. Talk about a mental health issue. Uh, I think just the fact that he went to a they, you know well this is like 1968 or 67 68. So back then you know anything could knock you out. And so that's when they got uh, that's when Bobby Kennedy stepped up. Well he was a brother anyway. Uh, and so they got rid of. Uh, I'm sorry. Let me go back. When they shot Bobby Kennedy, then the 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 the, uh, the, the candidate became a governor. And during the, during the process of uh, running, they they smeared him so they got the governor out of there. Kent, uh, Richard Nixon becomes president, and he goes the whole term. Then he then he's reelected. But then you had a little span in the works. Uh, ends up that he was being prosecuted, and he was going to well, he wasn't going to go. They were going. He, he wasn't going to be president for much longer. Uh, so, but what happened was, since Spiro, well, Spiro, I'm sorry, since Richard Nixon was president, he'd won call the shots. He just they, back then the vice president meant nothing, ceremonial. Even Richard Nixon, when he self, self when he was vice president to uh, to uh, Eisenhower, that's when he they you know shipped him off to Africa. He's you know it's a ceremonial thing. So they named this guy Spiro Agnew. I forget what's some small state, maybe maybe it's from uh, Biden state, Delaware. I don't know, uh, some small state. He becomes vice president. But but they had something over him. They knew that he was a hood, a, a, a hood, you know, a, a, a gangster. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. So <coughs> when they was trying to get rid of Nixon, they said, wait a second, if we get rid of Nixon, then Agnew becomes president. Oh, we don't want that. Like, plus, Agnew was a funny looking. He, he looked like me at Bell's Palsy or something. He just looked bad. And so what they did was they got rid of Agnew, replaced him with Ford as vice president, so that when uh, uh, Nixon went out, you know, got, got kicked out. Uh, then, they, then Ford became president, and he uh, uh, basically uh, uh, appointed Howard. How they they basically appointed Rockefeller, who always wanted to be president. Nelson Rockefeller who always wanted to be president. He was governor of New York. Anyway, anyway, he becomes vice president. So now, you have, at this particular point, now you have two people that said president, vice president, that was never elected. You know what I'm saying? This is the first time in history. Nobody talks about that. Why don't people talk about that? Anyway, let's keep on going. So now what did they learn? They, they learned that, you know, looks carries one thing, and smearing, you know, if you smear somebody, you're getting up and, and, and another thing. And they also learned that if you're going to do a president or vice president, you better do a vice president that ain't going to cause you uh, too much headache, right? Okay, now we move on. Uh, uh, after Nixon, we move on to, uh, uh, who was it? 
Well, Gerald Ford, president. Okay, so after Gerald Ford, then you get Carter. Is it Carter? Yes, I guess it's Carter. You get Carter. Now, Carter is interesting because he's like a brainiac. You know, you get, you get the military thing like, like Eisenhower in terms of, you know, he's a big time muckety -muck military person. Plus, he just reads everything. He's a, he's a reader. He's a humble person, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So, uh, but he beats Ford, who was, you know, college football guy. You know, you know that whole thing that they, you know, the rigorous the white guy that can save the planet, whatever, whatever they do, that they can stumble on, I don't know, whatever. Uh, so, so now you have you have uh, you have uh, uh, Carter from Georgia. So you got the South and da da I say, huh, that's interesting. Then Carter Carter gets go out gets out because Ronald Reagan uh, is, yeah he's replaced by Reagan. Okay, now. Where's Mondale in there? Was Mondale? He's running against Reagan. Oh, I'll get, I'll get to that. He's replaced by, by, by well, I, I say replaced because they're all chosen, but let me know. Back then, whatever, the intrigue, they got people in the place. Now, Reagan was interesting because, here's what I do. He's, he was a radio man. You know, he was a sports commentator and whatever it was, and he was on TV for long. So he has the, he, he, you build a radio voice, you know. Now, something I tell you, you build a radio persona, a voice. You look, it's like a, you know, when I listen to Stevie Wonder now, I know that he's been recording in professional studios since he was 11 years old. So he has automatically, it doesn't matter. He's he's like he's produced when he <laughs> when he comes out. It doesn't matter. Uh, I learned this. Well, let me let me keep going. So 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 this is whole Iran connection with with Reagan. They they held the hostages until uh, Reagan got elected. This whole thing. I read that actually in a, in a forward of a book uh, about the uh, Iranian Secret Service. But don't worry about that because I can't remember the book and I can't cite it. But it was in the Ford, uh, or the first, the first whatever. Uh, then so so Reagan is becomes president and um, uh, uh, H. W. Bush whatever the guy is he's the vice president who's also CIA and all the rest of that stuff. Now interesting enough, when Reagan was uh, uh, I say when he was running the second his second term because he had two terms, uh, and Mondale was the uh, was the opponent opponent. I happen to be a production production engineer for WBAI, which means that one of the things I had to do was take down news feeds and stuff like that. And I, I, this was the 80s and the 84, whatever it was, mid 80s. And I learned something. From, I learned something. I, I noticed something when I was taking down the feed. When when Reagan was talking, he's like, "There's a call a VU meter, well, VU meter, and a VU meter was like right there, 12 o'clock high, just just like that." When Reagan was talking, just like that. When Ray, when Monday was talking, I'm taking another feed, listen to and watching the, the levels. Monday was all over the place, you know. So I said, "Wow, that's interesting." Now I have been doing radio my then since for like at least twelve years or something, whatever it was. But then I noticed my VU meter would just hum in the middle, you know. Remember, I'm behind the board anyway, so maybe I'm constantly I'm doing that. But I noticed, I started noticing people had really good voices. They or really good deliveries, forget the voice, the voice policy more than a really good delivery, that video meter would be in a, in a, in a certain range. So I said, I, I said, oh, so if you're good looking and young, if you uh, if you have some sort of, well, some sort of scholarship, talk about uh, uh, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy Carter, and you have the voice, let's call it a baritone, you know, let's call it a tenor baritone voice, uh, and maybe even deeper than that. That's that's Reagan because Reagan had this voice. Also, that they say he's like a grandpa to you. You know, don't know you can listen to him all day. So I said, so this is quite interesting. Then I started paying attention to stuff like this, right? So the next year, uh, uh, W H, you know, W H was old, whatever he was. That's when you had all the operatives coming around, the people that were actually hanging out with in the Nixon time. You know, some of those became operatives. In other, in other words, the Republican operatives stayed on to, or through all these uh, campaigns. You know, through Nixon, whatever. And now you had uh, 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 W.H. who was president. He was supposed to be president again. But, you know, bumping through something, a span in the works, uh, talk about uh, uh, Clinton. Now, Clinton was interesting because he had charisma. Go watch the movie, uh, what's that, uh, Primary Colors with, uh, 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 what, uh, what's the Saturday Night Fever guy? Uh, John Travolta. John Travolta, perfect. It was a great job. Just a really great job that they did that he did, because Bubba had the personality, he had the charisma, right? So, so all this stuff is starting to pile up. Then you had, then you had, uh, uh, the next one, Bubba's two years, then you have uh, W, you know, Bush's son. 
So that's interesting because those those operatives, because Gore, I don't know what's, I don't know what the hell was Gore. Gore couldn't even carry his own state, so that, that tells you volumes, you know. But the operatives that have been operating since Nixon went into full gear. You can see some of them in the Florida debacle, some of the same faces that were in like 1968 was in that room, you know, causing mayhem and stuff like that. So uh, W, for whatever reason, plus they, they were in the bag for Cheney anyway. Because by that time, the business people had come to call us. I want to go into this whole other track about how the Ivy League people who usually you know, uh, did government back in the, in the 80s, into the 90s, I should say. You, know, you started in the, well, well, anyway, back, back in the say the 80s, they decided, we, you know, we'd rather do, um, what do you call that? We'd rather do uh, uh, finance than do this, this uh, the public thing. Who's that? So much After God. Hey, John. Uh, so... Uh, so so now they so now all this is in place and W is there but Cheney's running the show so uh, now the party itself now can come they came together on the Reagan now they can solidify even more the officers are working to, at their maximum you know you had things like you know uh, 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 they can shut down the whole committee so when all of the noise is being te test uh, testifying they didn't want them to testify they wanted to shut down the committee it's all kinds of stuff be happening you know you had with with. Uh, uh, with Biden and, and with, with uh, uh, what's called Clarence Thomas, but they get the sticky thing, you know, uh, Biden just could sh shut it down. You know, it's interesting, all the stuff that happened. Okay, now they have, the, now you have your knight in shiny armor. <laughs> yeah, Barack Obama. Now, Barack Obama, look at it. All those things they had, he's, he's young, he's good looking, he's articulate, he has a scholarship, you know, the whole uh, Harvard Law Review, whatever it is. Scholarship. He has the charisma. All those things that, that some of them had, some of them didn't have, all he needed is the machine around him. So he got the machine around him. He did the rest. Okay. He becomes president, right? And what does he do? The first thing he does is he gets rid of the, the, the machine that got him elected and, and goes over to, again, that financial side that they learned about in the 80s, right? So now it's all, the, the model is in place. You gotta be young, <laughs> gifted. And, oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was gonna go there. young, gifted, and black. Right? You have to be young, articulate, uh, charisma, uh, uh, somewhat smart, uh, or smarts. Uh, you have to be willing to, to to do their bidding, all that thing. So now we have this situation right now where you have uh, Biden, who there. I don't know what's happening with Biden, but he has Kamala Harris as his vice president, and uh, now uh, uh, Trump has this JD guy as his vice president, right? The JD guy is young, blah, 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 all that, all that. has a story, has a compelling story and all the rest of that stuff. But interestingly enough, everybody says that Biden went, went back on his promise. He said he was going to be a one-term president. And then, well, what happened, what they realized, you had Kamala Harris, who's supposed to be good-looking, uh, uh, young, gifted, but, well, she's not gifted, and she ain't black. Oh, gee. You have Kamala Harris. The point is, uh, she, she when she started when she started fumbling in the very beginning, somewhere in there, in there I know that Biden or the, the powers that be said, no, this ain't gonna work. This no, we this ain't gonna work. Maybe and then Biden does the second thing. Okay, so right now Biden will probably will probably lose, Trump will win. They they got a young guy in there, but I don't think they really want him in there. But let's say they got him in there, even if Kamala. Even with Kamala's doing what she's doing, if you have all these, uh, and with Biden not dropping out, you're going to have a lot of people jockeying for, for some sort of position. So basically, this whole season right now is audition season. The Republicans are auditioning for who's going to be carrying the party beyond uh, this, these, these next few elections, and the Democrats got to identify somebody that can, again, participate in these next few elections. So these, both these parties right now are just looking for their future. So whoever is in these camps, and they'll, they'll be assessed on their performances, whatever. That's what determined. Uh, you don't even have to look at this 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 uh, election season. As you know, I'm running. Uh, I, want, I want everybody to write in reparations on the, on the thing. You just skip everything else. Just write in reparations, especially those people who don't want to vote for that stuff. But we'll get to that on Tuesday when I do my little campaign on Tuesday. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. The history of president, vice president, uh, 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 profiling. Whatever. Remember, this is the age of, of, of looking good. You know, so that's what happens. Okay, talk to you later. We're in the bright sun here. I got here because get the, the final throws of the sinus condition is whatever I have. So I'm getting healthy. Talk to you later.